Guys, what's up? It's Martin from Martin Trevon Cars TV. And next to me is a Toyota Ipsum 240i, which I borrowed from a friend. So today, I'm going to take you on a tour of the interior, exterior, practicality, and driving experience. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video for my thoughts on the Toyota Ipsum 240i. I'm going to start with a quick overview. The Toyota Ipsum is a family minivan that first came out in the mid-1990s. It had been on production for 15 years before Toyota decided to cancel it and give way to its successor, the Toyota Guy. The, to the Toyota Ipsum is a forgotten sensation in the minivan world. No one talks about it. That's why I consider it the middle child of minivan. The interior is nice, just what you'd expect from a family minivan. The materials feel nice to touch and nice to look at. Of course, we have some cheap plastic here and there but that is expected. This car has a pioneer sound system though it is worth noting that the original owner of this car updated it from Sanyo which felt outdated. Down here we have climate air conditioning perfectly cold and working even in the middle and third row seats it feels nice and cold. Seats. I have enough headroom, but in some minivans like the Totano, get more headroom because of the tall design. The new room is decent enough. Three adults can comfortably sit back here on long massive. I wish you guys could feel this. Most vans have sliding doors, but Toyota decided to make the Toyota Ipsum with a normal conventional door. A big door like this makes it easy to fit those rear child facing seats. Access the third row, you pull this latch upwards and slide the seat forward. And just like that, you can easily climb to the back seats. The only problem with me with the back seats is the fact that the seats are low to the ground and I feel like I'm in a squatting position. I can only imagine how uncomfortable I would be back here if I was sitting back here on long trips. The third row seats is clearly meant for children, unless you are four feet and below. <laughs> Moving on to the cargo compartment. While the third row seats are in the up position, it has a fairly decent amount of space. But you have more items you want to transport, you pull this latch and fold the third row seats forward. Now you get twice the space. The Toyota Ipsum 240i is powered by a 2.4 liter 2AZ FE inline 4 cylinder that makes it to a 4 speed automatic transmission. It will do 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers. Driving the Toyota Ipsum 240i. The first thing you notice the seats are comfortable, very supportive, and the cloth material feels good. The suspension is nice and soft, just what you'd expect from a passenger minivan. It is also decent handling. The steering wheel is nice and soft, but it is over assisted. You can turn the steering wheel with your pinky finger. This is a 7-seater and it is a large vehicle, but driving it as large as it, as it is, it feels good and you have enough power you'll need to keep up with traffic.
love the Tota Ipsum for the couple of days I've been driving it. It is a practical car. Tons of interior space. It is a seven seater. It is fuel efficient and very reliable. I recommend the Tota Ipsum to 40i. If you can get over the fact it looks like an egg.